Hello traders out there in trader land. This is the weekend edition. Good through Sunday, February 10th, 2013. And let's take a look here at how Friday ended up. Ended up in positive territory. We have the S&P up 0.6%, the Dow up 0.35%, the Nasdaq up almost a full percent, Russell's up 0.6%, Banks up 0.3%, VIX off by 3.56%. Check this out, we're at 13, gang. Commodities took yet another hit. Gold down 0.17%, silver down 0.1%, crude oil up a fraction, and US dollar up a fraction. Transportation in positive territory, utilities down just uh, not by much, almost break even. And I am going to bring over here, I'm um, Finviz, take a quick gander at what took place this week for sector rotation. You'll see that services and consumer goods did the best, but you'll, you'll see basic materials down a significant amount here. So be watching commodities and you'll notice financials are way down here at the bottom. If you'll notice here, a month ago, financials were here, kind of in the bottom area, middle bottom area. Three months ago, we were near the top. So three months ago, financials were very, very strong. One month dropped quite a bit, and we continue to drop on financials. So keep your eye on that. And take a look here at the S&P daily. You'll notice here that we come up here, we get a little diamond formation. It's kind of like a bullish pennant type formation. And on Friday, boom, big pop over resistance. This is 15.15. We are watching. Not too shabby. We got to close here at 15.17, almost 15.18, which is really, really nice. Busting all sorts of resistance. This little red line, the swing here over that, and this big moving average. This is a huge move. Very, very bullish to see that. On the weekly, you'll notice right here, we close just a smidgen above this line. This is a massive line, so much so that I'm going to go here and make this a line chart, blow this up a little bit, and, and let's. I want this to be right on those guys. Bring that down to here, and you we can see that we are we are nicely above this right now so that is quite bullish now here's the only problem the only problem is we do have a hanging man reversal pattern so we have to be really really careful we don't see a sizable drop next week and if it if we get one it will be a massive one but right now everything looks quite bullish which is great to see and if you look here on the nasdaq see on the nasdaq we, for the uh, this is a weekly mind you one two three four five six weeks we're very very extended haven't quite hit this resistance area but we did get them above this resistance area the swing so that's nice to see if you go over here to the daily chart you'll see that we had this boom big gap up and run taking place on the Nasdaq not bad at all by the way if you look at the futures, nice uptick on volume on this move on Friday. Take a look here at the banks. Banks continue to go higher, but not nearly as impressive as a move. We saw on in the indices, you go here to the weekly chart, uh, it's still looking quite strong. The VIX, the VIX here on the weekly chart, slight uptick, but still bearish. You'll see that we're down here on the daily. We're over here chopping around, um, so we are still stay at these very, very low areas. If you take a look at gold, gold has been just chopping around. It is set up, gang, to, to give us a massive move, and this is something we are all watching on the commodity front. Look at the coiling taking place. Look at all the moving averages tightening up. Gang, we're going to see a, a, a big-time move in precious metals be watching gold silver is the same thing if you look at silver here we have a very nice triangle I mean look how beautiful this triangle is this is a gorgeous gorgeous triangle and 
Um, we are set up to do a massive move one direction or the other. Unfortunately, we, most moving averages are above this acting as resistance instead of support on silver. And on the weekly chart, we are building a high base, which is more bullish than it is bearish. So just be watching for a significant move take place. I invite you to, but you certainly don't have to. But click on mentoring and scroll down, fill out some information here, and you will have a delightful phone call with Carolina. And it's just an informational phone call about our mentoring. All right, take care and listen to this next message. My name is Eric Gershon. I'm learning from Des and Mark about the trading business, actually. For me, uh, it's really understanding uh, the exact way to do the trend lines. You know, are they shadows, are they the, the, the close of the candle? That was my main question. I really wanted to understand how to write, how to make the trend lines the right way. As Des says, you know, he's pulled back the curtain so you can kind of see what, how the, how the professionals do it because essentially that's what we are. That's what I want to be. I want to be a professional trader, you know, and I don't want to be an amateur and I don't want to trade like an amateur. And that is the thing that I'm learning the most here is how to, how to be professional at this and how to approach it from that point of view. Well, they have far exceeded my expectation. I think, um, you know, I know Mark for a number of years and he has been talking to me about doing this for a number of years and I've watched him trade and I just want to be, I'll just take a little bit of the way Mark trades and I'll be a happy camper. Um, Des, I've been watching the videos and he's everything I thought he was going to be. Um, you know, to the point where I actually talked to him about, you know, managing my, my retirement account. That's how, and I, I, you know, I don't know him that long, but he knows what he's doing. He's the real deal. You know, these are, these are the real guys. This is, I've been to other seminars, um, and most people, most of these guys just want to, you know, talk while they're trading. You learn almost nothing. You don't learn uh, about the markets. You don't learn about um, trend lines. You don't learn about moving averages and what's the right, where, where should you put your stock? I mean, they're, you know, here, they, it, it, you're covering it from start to finish, and that is what I really like.